Uh, let's get into the trending topics very quickly. Uh, there's so so many different things out there this morning. I have to tell you, it's 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 a it's almost like a minefield. But uh, we just narrowed it down to just three of them at this point. Um, mother of twelve. So the the story of mother of twelve. I actually see, you know, now that we're speaking, it's actually moved on. Um, it's not. I don't, I'm not seeing it anymore. But the background to this is it's a it's a, it's a headline Ukraine. of a lady, Ukrainian lady, who decided that she was actually going to go she was a, a army medic and a mother of 12 she was go she went into the conflict she went to go and fight and unfortunately she lost her life so this is a, a big story that a lot of people are speaking about and um, she was near Donetsk when this did happen so apparently she adopted six children and six of those are her own so um, it's a, a very sad ending to that story and I think her name is Olga Olga yeah Olga Semedyanova which is a doctor, so 48 years old um, and remained in the field. I beg your pardon, she was there to help the soldiers. She's and she lost a her life. Yeah, amazing. She, um, she was a medic and had chosen to remain yeah. to help the soldiers. The soldiers there, so, and unfortunately, um, passed on. Yeah, unfortunately. So All right, so that was a big one. Mother of 12. Mother of 12. Okay, and Tlantlan Lux is the next one. So, Ntlantla Lux, um, you would know Ntlantla Lux, um, the, uh, the, 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 that's the Dudula movement. Yes. Um, he is the leader of that. And I'm not sure, uh, you know, exactly what yesterday's issue was about. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you were able to uh, basically get into that, narrow it down. Um, with Ntlantla Lux, but he is trending. Yeah. And um, uh, usually it's around the issue of uh, foreigners in South Africa and what they are doing. Um, the yesterday. group descending on the yes. list drug dens and den. demanding to search. They demanded to search the drug dens. And, um, you know, again, people say basically um, Ntlantla Lux can fix the country. And here again, you know, it, it raises so many issues because the question of drug dealing in South Africa is a huge one. Yeah, yeah. Um, but where, again, are the police? Where's law enforcement? This because is the thing. This is what they are supposed to be doing. Absolutely. And, and, and that's the, what people are the asking. The danger inherent with citizens now taking it upon themselves to actually do what law enforcement is supposed to be doing is a recipe for disaster somewhere along the line yeah, yeah. because if and when things get out of you know uh, line what happens who takes responsibility and this is the thing i mean what i think one of the big things they were talking to was the fact that they they gained access to the property they demanded that they go search the property and you know people asking but hang on a second i mean since when is a, a, a can a citizen demand to come in and search your your property i mean that's the domain of the police you can't be just uh bashing into someone's house and taking the law into your own hands but but nonetheless, this is what's happening. This is the big story that is, I suppose, getting the um, the people talking and social media. I don't get that. this. How do civilians go and yeah. get the police and say, "Come, you're going to search this problem"? Mm. Like, mm. Then why do we have police? What are they there for? Well, that's what people are asking. Not what are the, what do we have them there for? Where are they? Why are they not doing this job? No, something is very wrong in the state of South Africa. And it seems, at least the perception seems to be that our leaders are very laissez-faire about what is going on mm. in the country. Whereas these things are real and, and, and very problematic. And growing. It, the, the, the crowds, if you've noticed, are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And this is going, getting more and more traction and it's getting more and more dangerous. I mean, if you allow people to just take, and citizens to take the law into their own hands, you know, you don't, it, this is a ticking time bomb, to be honest with you. I think we've got to watch this very, very closely and carefully. And, you know, but authorities need to watch government? this. Exactly. At what point do we step in and govern? At what point do you take control of what is going on? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is the next trending. It's topic. worrying. It yeah. is worrying.
Okay, so Bahrain, Bahrain. Uh, Grand Prix, that's the next one. So I know that uh, everybody, all the, the, the fans may shout at me for pronouncing Charles's surname wrong. Is it Leclerc? Um, Leclerc, yeah. Leclerc, yeah, Leclerc. Charles Leclerc mm. wins as, uh, this, is a, uh, this is a big one. So he won a close battle with Red Bull's Max Verstappen before taking that victory as Ferrari took a 1-2 in a dramatic season opening Bahrain Grand Prix. So lots of excitement there. Lewis Hamilton also uh, jumping up and taking third place. So it was a, uh, yeah, he was on the final mm. final place on the podium for Mercedes. So, yeah, yeah. the racing has started. It has. Uh, by the way, Ferrari's first um, win in 46. Yeah. So, yeah. Fantastic. So it uh, must have been a good time for them. Indeed. So there we go. That's your, those are your trending topics. And I know that there's just a, a, a lot more out there that are jumping up and down, including once again, World War Three is a big trending topic. And this was after a, interview that uh, Zelensky, Volodymyr Zelensky had had on CNN, basically saying that if this solution is not found between Ukraine and Russia, it is a guaranteed start of World War III if the peace talks do not go. That was what he was quoted as saying. So yeah, we'll look into that as well.